टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द सर्जिकल रिमूवल ऑफ हॉरिजॉन्टली इंपैक्टेड राइट मैंडुलर थर्ड मोलार यू कैन सी दैट द थर्ड मोलार इज ब्लॉक्ड बाय द सेकंड मोलार द एपेक्स ऑफ द टूथ इज क्लोज टू द मैंडुलर कनाल विद अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन एम एम ऑफ बोन बिटवीन द एपेक्स एंड द कनाल ओनली द डिस्टल कस्प ऑफ द थर्ड मोलार इज आउटसाइड द बोन एज ऑलवेज आई फर्स्ट अप्लाई टॉपिकल एनेस्थेटिक एट द इंजेक्शन साइट विद अ कॉटन एप्लीकेटर टिप You can watch my other videos for more information on this. Then I administer inferior alveolar nerve block, lingual nerve block and buccal nerve block. For a detailed explanation on these blocks, you can watch these videos on the channel. I place a triangular incision to expose the tooth and the bone. number 9 periosteal elevator to reflect a full thickness muco periosteal flap shown on the radiograph only the distal cusp of the tooth is outside the bone i use a hp6 round burr to reduce the bone almost till the cj of the tooth this would make the tooth sectioning easier create ditches in the surrounding bone using a hp6 round burr connect the ditches with the hp702 straight burr to create a bone gutter around the neck of the tooth This is how the bone gutter looks like. Bone height still seems a little high, so I am reducing the height of the bone by approximately 1 to 2 mm around the tooth using a HP6 round burr. Then 
with the HPC crown burr, I create two to three ditches in the tooth at the CAG level. I then connect those ditches with the HP702 straight burr to create a section between the root and the crown. The section is only at the buckle aspect of the tooth. I then widen the section using a HP703 straight burr. For more information, watch this video. Now with a wider section, I can access the lingual aspect of the crown with a 702 burr. Once the sectioning is complete, I place a coupland elevator in the section and rotate it to fracture the crown from the root. Once the crown is fractured, it is pushed out of the socket using a coupland elevator. It is then removed using an artery forcep. Once the crown is removed, I elevate the root using the crier elevator. The root is then removed using an artery forcep. This is how the socket looks like after tooth removal and curettage. The flap was sutured back using three interrupted sutures. This is the section tooth. Thank you for watching.